Okay, we are back once again with another whiteboard series video. I'm Dr. Stephen Cabral, board certified at Dr. of Naturopathy, looking to teach you from a functional medicine based position here. What is estrogen dominance? Real quick, we'll explain what that is and the number one reason for estrogen dominance. So estrogen dominance is the symptoms of oily skin, facial hair growth, uh, adult acne, lower mood, uh, a little bit more sometimes, oftentimes a little bit more towards depression. All the symptoms that many women may get the seven days or so before menstruation begins, before the menstrual cycle. But there's a very specific reason as to why that happens to many women out there and in some men as well, but mainly women. And here's the number one reason why, because you might think, well, high levels of estrogen from things like plastics in the environment and cosmetics and a lot of toxins, which can raise estrogen levels. And it's true. There's no doubt about that. That is absolutely correct. However, I'm going to let you in on a little insight from having done thousands of what are called stress hormone mood and metabolism labs that actually look at estrogen levels. And here's the number one reason why of for estrogen dominance for all those symptoms that I just spoke about. That number one reason is not high estrogen. Believe it or not, many women with estrogen dominance have normal levels of estrogen. The problem is they have low levels of progesterone. So if we're looking at the menstrual cycle, a woman's menstrual cycle, it looks like this. Or I should say their, their uh, luteal phase, which is here. The peak is about days 19 to 21. And high estrogen is around day 12, 10 to 12. Here's day 15 right in the middle. So this is your estrogen wave right here, and this is your progesterone wave. Now, if during your luteal phase of your cycle, estrogen remains normal like it is right here, but progesterone only comes to here, then that throws off your ratio. So now you have all of the symptoms of high estrogen, even though when you run your lab, like we have thousands of women do every single year, you have totally normal estrogen. So if you look at that, you say, oh, well, I have normal estrogen. Why do I have the oily skin, the acne, maybe some of that uh, facial hair growth sometimes, the lower mood, the water retention, the bloating? Here's the reason why. This is progesterone, but if you're working with an integrative health practitioner, they'll tell you to run this lab during days 19 to 21 of your cycle, or if you're not having a cycle, when you're having the most symptoms of what I just named. And if this is during your luteal phase, you should be here on your progesterone. And this takes it into account. So this is your progesterone estrogen ratio. So you can see this person is low. This is directly attributable down here. I'm gonna teach more about this in the future, but it is the most overlooked reason in all of functional medicine, in medicine in general, why women are dealing with so many PMS-based issues and estrogen dominance issues, and it can be fixed. So the number one reason is chronic levels of stress. And this lab shows right here, again, this is a real world lab. This high levels of stress hormone here at night and first thing in the morning are most likely the reason why the body is producing less progesterone, normal estrogen, and you have all those symptoms of estrogen dominance. So yes, in the short term, you can use products like Estrogen Balance, Adrenal Soothe, and Full Spectrum Magnesium, in addition to your daily nutritional support, no doubt about it. However, in the long term, we want to really address what are the underlying causes for all of this chronic stress. It can be gut-based, it can be uh, work, life, emotions, relationships, it could be heavy metals, it could be viruses, it could be autoimmune, it could be some type of pain or injury, but we want to address that. And again, I go through all of that in the de-stress protocol. So if you're working with one of our health coaches, you'll certainly get that. You can read all about it inside of my book, The Rain Barrel Effect, uh, which is essentially free if you go to stephencabral.com. Uh, all profits from that go to charity, 100% profits go to charity. And of course, if you want to run a lab like this, you can go to equi.life forward slash labs. And you can run this right at home called the Stress Hormones Mood and Metabolism. And you'll actually get a consultation with that and an entire plan built for you. If not, I laid out a few other things that you can do in this video. 
That will all work for you as well. But again, this is the number one reason, the number one reason for estrogen dominance in women. Hopefully this was helpful. And of course, feel free to pass it along to anybody else you believe could help.